Welcome back to another project in the series of bag making tutorials that I have put together for you. This is the second one in line and the reason being we use the same pattern and we learn how to give this rounded bottom and also we're going to tuck this at the top so that it just kind of gives you that slanted look. We're also going to learn how to use this curtain rings and then pass your handle through and the other technique we're going to learn is how to finish the handle with a bias ring. So when you open it and when you're using it, you don't really see any raw edges anywhere at all. Okay, again, this is lined. We're going to learn. I will also show you how to put some patch pockets inside just to step up a notch from the last project. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with another version of Chila. To start off with this project, we need a printed fabric. I'm going to use the printed fabric as a lining and I'm going to use my denim as main fabric. You also need the curtain rings. You need four for the bag and you need one for decoration. If you don't want the decoration, then you can skip this one. I've also got a little extra piece of fabric here, which is just under seven inches or 17 centimeters wide. You're going to see later what we're going to do with this. I have here the handle, which is already prepared and finished. As you saw in the first project, if you want to learn how to make this handle, then go and watch the video in a separate section, which says how to make handles. Now let's get started with the project. Okay, so here I have already marked the pieces. So if I keep my pattern there, that's what I have done. Okay, this is the pattern number one. Now, apart from this, obviously you need the handle for your handles. And uh, what we also need is this pattern, which is number seven, looks like a little bat wing, but you need to cut this. Don't cut the fabric in it, just cut the paper and all you need is we are going to go and match to the bottom corner kind of a step like so and make the marking and also make the notch marks that's all you need that gives you the round the kind of U shape that we need for the bag okay let me go ahead and cut this cut this make all the notch marks and you're going to cut exactly the same on the lining as well okay i have cut out all my panels and let me just explain a little bit more these are the two top layers of denim fabric two layers of lining so these are the extra bit of fabric i have for the front decoration um, i was going to use this fabric i'll just show you what my idea was original idea was that I was going to use on the front panel if we spread it around like that I wanted this to come in between and I was going to make like sort of a little bow just edge stitch on both the sides and uh, possibly just have it like so on both the sides okay that's very simple to do and it just gives you a bow effect but we are going to use these two here and it kind of almost kind of makes like a funny face with the eyes and the nose so I have um, so I've decided not to use um, the ring in the center instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a piece of fabric just go across just like that like a strip of fabric and um, I'm just going to place it basically it's a wide piece of fabric I have folded it on either side and just made the iron mark and if you want the uh, measurements for these, um, if I measure this, this is coming up to 12 centimeters or four and a three quarter inch. Um, so basically we're just going to place it like so. And uh, when you place this, just make sure uh, the length from here, I'm placing it at 12 centimeters and the same here at 12 centimeters. Just make sure it's in a straight line. Otherwise you would have a wonky trim. And let's go ahead and pin it just on one layer and what I'm going to do is just go and sew a top stitch on both the sides okay we're going to, when we go to the sewing machine we're going to go and do that we don't need this extra so I'm going to keep that aside okay the zipper panel that comes along with this pattern you could go ahead and use that just like this one I've already made a zipper panel basically the way you do it is make your zipper panel first then go and place your pattern on the top 
and just go and cut the excess off. So that this pattern, the zipper panel pattern fits to all the bags that I'm showing you in this pattern. Okay, but this fabric is not so thick and I would advise if you're going to sew zipper into your lining, your lining needs to have some strength to it. Because if you go for such a thin fabric, then you're going to end up with all sorts of puckerings and the seams won't be neat. Okay, so I'm not going to add zipper pocket to this, but I'm going to show you how you can add a patch pocket. And you could add this into any bag, any of the bag I'm showing you. Okay, this is a long strip of fabric and uh, earlier it was 17 centimeter wide, just under 7 inches. Basically what I have done here, I have folded about quarter to half an inch and then folded again and pressed the iron. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and sew an edge stitch from here till the end. This side I have only just folded one fold. There's no two folds, just one fold. So let's go ahead and sew the top stitch on this one first. So afterwards what we're going to do, we're going to place it like this and just sew the bottom and this will go into the side seam. To divide the pockets we're just going to go and put a top stitch like a normal stitch just straight lines here and here. That way you would end up getting three different pockets. We're again using this um, blind hem foot and uh, let's just go ahead and place because the guide will guide me. I'm just going to put the guide to the edge of the fabric here and, and uh, you know, I don't know if the camera picks up. There you go and uh, let's just go ahead and sew. Now I'm going to go and sew this strip of fabric. Now just go and sew on the other side. Okay, we have sewn the edge stitch. Now let's turn it around and trim the excess fabric off. Gonna keep this one aside and let's go to the lining and let's take this fabric that we have just sewn for the pockets and the sewn side is on the top where we have sewn the edges and let's just go and adjust and put place the folded side at the bottom like so and again just make sure that you are giving it about 12 centimeters or four and a three fourth inch now once that is in place let's just go ahead and place some pins and this time what we're going to do we're going to sew on the bottom and after we have sewn on the bottom we're going to turn it over and taking the fabric of the lining as the guideline, just sew an edge stitch on both the sides because we don't want this to kind of flap open and kind of create problems when we start sewing the side seams. Let's go ahead and place the guide to the edge of the fold and sew a top stitch. See, it's so easy and your stitch is so neat and accurate when you use the proper foot. I've turned it over and now I'll guide the guide to the edge of my lining and sew top stitch. The lining and the pocket fabric are quite thin so let's just give this a quick iron. Now what we're going to do is sew some straight lines so that the, the pocket has got some divisions. Now if you leave a pocket like this, this is going to fall off if you put anything in there. What I normally like to do is because I keep losing my pens all the time. So I'd like to give a pocket here, maybe for the mobile phone or whatever. And then I would sew little parallel lines like this because small ones are for the pens and this one may be for the wallet because this won't fall off this is this will hold quite tightly okay so let's just go ahead and sew three lines starting and finishing with a back stitch i have changed my foot to normal foot and starting from the edge of the fabric 
just go with a little back stitch same way just go and sew the other two lines okay let's give this a quick iron because any stitching after ironing looks so much better now I can put my pen in there another pen or whatever in there my mobile phone in there if you're carrying a bigger mobile phone just make sure that you give enough room wide enough to put your mobile phone in there and if you think if this pocket is too large just go ahead and sew another stitch in the center to make them smaller pockets okay so that's absolutely fine we are ready to go on to the next step before we go ahead I've got the two layers of lining here what we did lose by making this round here is the notch mark at the bottom of your pattern so let's just fold this into half and turn it round I have sewn pocket on the other side as well in case if you're wondering what's that now let's just measure from the center this measures about four and a half inches the notch measures about four and a half inches so from the center let's measure about four and a half inches or 11 centimeters and uh, hold all the fabrics together and just make a notch mark because this is important we need to leave this gap when we turn it over later on when we finish the bag okay this is the bottom of your bag uh, front and back panels we do this process for both the panels so you can see two little notches on these um, bend so what we're going to do we're going to take one of the notches fold the notch like this and place it so that the edges are matching just place a pin now leave about quarter of an inch from here so your quarter of an inch will be something like half a centimeter and from there just place your ruler so that your three inches will go till the edge of the fabric so basically just make a mark like this and that's your dart so we're going to go and sew a dart like this okay so let me place the pin near to the dart and we go ahead and do the same on this one and this time you need to go slightly parallel to this dart it, you know if you make a little mistake it really doesn't matter don't worry about it you'll get it right after a few mistakes so just go ahead and do this okay again I've left about a quarter of an inch and then three inches seam so let me just go ahead and pin another pin so now we're going to go and sew from here till the edge of the fabric okay just place the dart place your presser foot on the mark and we go on to the other dart and start from there Okay, I have sewn in my dart and at this stage go ahead and check place the wrong sides together and from one side to the other side just go ahead and check that you have sewn in the darts the same size on both the sides and if at this stage if one of the darts is smaller and uh, the fabric is coming a little excess then you need to go and sew a little bit more than uh, what you've already sewn so that way it would this would match perfectly mine's matching fine so what I'm gonna do is we need to make some markings and also we need to cut some holes okay let me just fold it like this because um, it makes it a lot more easier if I do it this way maybe the camera will see properly so we need about half an inch for seam allowance and then we just draw a line now we just fold it into half and then make a notch mark and when you have folded into half go ahead and mark three and a half inches from there and just make a marking there now hold it together and then make a notch mark okay so you got three notches now behind uh, under these notches is where we're going to place the rings okay so this is where our stitch line is you need to give about quarter of an inch from the seam line down to here a little bit more is better I'm giving about half an inch about two centimeters 
um, to about three quarters of an inch, which is perfect. Center the ring to the notch. And we do it both the sides the same way because it's got to be perfect, otherwise it's going to show up in your bag and it's going to look very odd. Okay. Now, whilst it's still there, just go and make a plus mark. So at least you won't lose it in case if your ring moves, then you know you've got to center it to the plus mark. So I'm going to do the same this side and center it and I'm just going to make a plus mark. So the plus mark is aligning to the notch and this line is parallel. Okay. So now what you need to do is you need to open your rings like so. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the outer ring. So when you compare it, there's an inner ring and an outer ring. Take the outer ring, center it to your plus mark and now go and mark a ring. You probably will do well with a um, white pencil. So the same way, we're just going to go ahead and mark, center it and mark this as well. We need to cut these rings open. So basically, we just go ahead and kind of fold it at the plus mark and just chop off a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little snip and then go ahead and take your time little by little. Don't worry if your round is not perfect, okay? We're not going to we're not going to place this yet because we need to attach the lining, finish everything. This is just a mark so that we don't have to, we don't make any mistakes later on. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the project and give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more projects. I shall see you next time.